What's up, Nerds and Geeks? My name is OMGWTF, LOL, FTWBRB, and welcome to Episode 5 of SmackDown. Shut your mouth. <sighs> I'm out of breath right now. I'm sorry, I just went running. Not really. I'm just out of shape. <laughs> but anyway, uh, in our previous episode, we um, fought the Rock as DDP, and we also fought the Hurricane. And then we also took the title off the Hurricane as Billy Kidman in a Fatal 4 match at the Backlash pay-per-view that we're at right now. I don't believe there's anybody around, but since we have more time, let me actually explore a little bit. First things first, I always like to check the locker room. I don't know why. It's probably one of my favorite places to go. I hate going in the parking lot areas. Uh, nobody in the locker room. I just want to point some things out. Look how much detail they put into this. Like, ready? Hold on, look. That is a VCR with tapes. Yes, a VCR with tapes, nerds and geeks. That's pretty crazy, if you ask me. That's very detailed. They didn't have to, you know, put a VCR with tapes in there, but they decided to. Uh, yeah, let's go back outside. Let me see if I can try to show off um, WB New York or whatever it was called. Mm. Love that Shasta. So last time I did it, I tried to... Uh... Oh, it's over here. That's right. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I, I tried to go here before, and I ended up going to the parking lot. But, uh, yes, you enter the subway, as you see. Here's the subway. I don't see any wrestlers standing here. Sometimes there'll be wrestlers here in the subway also. And how you get to New York, or WWE New York, whatever it's called, even though we're probably not in New York, to you get in the subway, and the, uh... They're supposed to close. There we go, finally. And it takes you. Yep. And as I said, you know, sometimes there are, there's superstars, they'll be everywhere. But uh, the, there's none here so far. We haven't seen any. I don't believe we saw anything, anyone at the Backlash pay-per-view in the previous episode. And then here we are. We are at WWE New York, I guess it's called. And let us actually enter it. And, uh, yep, here it is. WWE New York. And doesn't look like anybody's here, but, uh, yes, I can get off of this. Look, I can get, go up to all the fans. Hey, what's up, nerds and geeks? But, uh, that's WWE New York. And now we're going to go back to Backlash. And, uh, you know, show off all that stuff. Which is not fun, because <laughs> we're going to waste a couple minutes walking all the way back there. Yeah, it doesn't take too long of a load time, but this exploring stuff, just trying to look for a superstar to talk to, can really eat out your time. So I tend never to really go to the um, the parking lot areas, because there's so many places to explore there. I usually go to New York or um, you know the subway, stuff like that. I, I tend to go outside... All that stuff, basically. I don't really care for going into the parking lot areas. Like, I'll go in the locker room, all that stuff, but there's just, you know, you have a boiler room, you have the parking lot, you have locker room A, you know, all this weird stuff that, to me, just feels really unnecessary. It takes a lot less time to get back to the SmackDown Arena, which is the name of the arena we always are at, than it is to, uh, go to the WB New York area. But now that we wasted about, you know, a good five minutes on that, let us continue on in our Backlash Fear View. As I stated in our first episode, we will be playing all the matches, and we'll play this match too. We're actually going to play as the tag champs, because I quite, I don't think I want them to lose the title yet. I don't think I do. Even though they did lose to the Hardys, but they're not facing the Hardys, they're facing the Dudleys. So no, I'm going to play as the Un-Americans, and we can finally see them too. Spectacular Smackdown camera angle. I think I did that before, but what you do is when you do your finisher, you, you press L1 and it, you know, it does it. The Un-Americans. They, they, they could have just easily put that in there saying, the Un-Americans, but they decided not to. And, yeah. 
God, they have such a badass theme. Spike Dudley looks very awkward, I'm not going to lie. I always like Spike, though. I actually like all the, the Dudley boys, believe it or not. I love the Dudley boys theme, by the way. It's, it's so good. Bully, oh, Bully, I called him Bully Ray. He wasn't Bully Ray yet, he was Bubba Ray Dudley. Bully Ray, of course, is Bubba Ray Dudley in TNA. This is a TLC match? I did not think it was a TLC match. All right, then. Well, I guess we have a TLC match on our hands, nerds and geeks. I showed off a tables match, and now we have a TLC match. The reason why, um, fuck, I just put Lance Storm on the table. The reason why uh, Bubba's teaming up with Spike, oh, is because um, at this time in WWE, the Dudley Boys actually were separated when the draft first happened. Oh God, Lance Storm just got put through a table when the first draft happened. Bubba got drafted over to Monday Night Raw, and Devon got drafted over to SmackDown. And because of that, you know, they were separated, no longer a team. And Devon, as you'll see in this game, if we ever see him, turned into Reverend Devon. Ooh! I hit him on the, the ladder. And Bubba just stayed Bubba. He actually had a, quite a few interactions with um, Triple H when he was... Uh, believe the world heavyweight champion but that's for a different time and Spike Dudley is beating us up yep he's beating us up of course we were playing as Christian I don't know I mean of course you guys probably should have saw me pick him but if you forgot yes we are playing as Christian Captain Charisma and yeah that's really about it I don't know why I chose Christian, I just, I, I prefer Christian over Lance Storm. Hell yeah, dodge that, it's like, oh, we both hit, oh, now he's reversing me. Oh, the titles are up there, I didn't, what, are they fighting? Um, I don't know how to do, how, how do I, can I knock it down? Oh, okay, Lance Storm can do it. <laughs> Idiot Dudley boys. I want to grab the titles. Yeah, I want to. I just knocked the ladder down again. Well, Spike is actually knocked out. How do I climb the ladder? Oh, fuck. I don't know how to do this. It should, I didn't even know I was in a TLC match. Lance Storm, help me. You need to climb the ladder, Lance. Oh, yes, he did. Swedish Fish. Pull them down, Lance. I'm going to distract Bubba. Hell yeah! We won! Yes, we did. That's two in a row for the titles on the line. Got Billy Kidman to win the Cruiserweight Championship, and the Un-Americans retain. Thanks to Landstorm, because I had no idea how to climb that ladder. Ah, oh, Dudleys. You're better in tables. TLC, not so much. So, uh, we, had, we helped the Un-Americans... Retain the titles. Now, um, let's go to our main event, which I believe is like Jericho and Edge. And, um, yeah. It's for the Intercontinental Championship, and it's Chris Jericho versus Rob Van Dam in a ladder match. And I'm going to be playing as Rob Van Dam. It only makes sense. It's a ladder. Damn it. A ladder match? I just went through a TLC match. Backlash is not TLC pay-per-view. That is a while away. Why am I doing two ladder matches in a row? And you didn't even give me a loading screen that helps. You gave me a loading screen with Hulk Hogan on it. Ugh, where's my manual? That'll help me. Well, while Rob Van Dam's coming out, I'm actually going to look up how to climb a damn ladder. Probably should have played Jericho. Okay, ladder matches. Uh, Climb ladder. It's the same damn button as I knock it down. That's not fair. Why do you make it the same button? Oh, that's what I thought it was, in all honesty. One of a kind. Why are we making Rob Van Dam retain the Intercontinental title? I don't know. Maybe because Jericho has punched me in the face. That could be a reason why. Actually, 
I just chose it because Rob Van Dam is better fit for, I guess, a ladder match, in my opinion. Could be wrong. I mean, Jarek was proven himself as a ladder match veteran, too, I guess, but... I was just feeling RVD. Chris Jericho has his awesome entrances, as always. This is being one of them. And he... Oh, he was supposed to have his arms up already. Why is the main event the Intercontinental title? And not the Undisputed title. I don't know. Well, uh, here comes Chris Jericho. We haven't seen him yet. The good thing about um, Shut Your Mouth is the entrances are very short. They're not like the long entrances that you see nowadays. That could be a credit to the fact that maybe they didn't know how to make long entrances. But I don't. you can't say the PS2 can't handle it because games like 2006 and all that have those long entrances. So, I don't know. Maybe they just didn't... <gasps> I have hiccups. Maybe they... Well, that's going to bother me. I have hiccups now. Maybe they just didn't feel like the game needed them. I don't know why there's no long entrances. But actually, I prefer the entrances being like this than they are in the new games. I mean, I love. trust me. The entrances are some of my favorite parts in the game. I, it makes it feel more realistic to me. But sometimes they can be a bit of a hassle. Hell yeah. Oh, wait. We didn't reverse that. All right. Playing as Rob Van Dam. Taking on Chris Jericho. Going for a pin. Didn't mean to do that. Oh. Get fucked. Oh. All right. Okay. Jericho's getting some moves in. Jericho's getting some moves in. Oh, kicked him right in the face. And a sleeper hold locked in. Oh, he just punched me in the face. Oh, how do you like that? RVD is so fun to play with. I'm not even going to lie. He has all these moves. He's so much fun. I'm not even going to... RVD is probably one of the best characters to play as in the game because he has so much... So many... So many activities. Actually, he doesn't have activities, but he has, he has so many cool moves. And now it's starting to feel like, you know... Now it's actually starting to feel like maybe I'm being challenged a bit. Jericho's actually taking it to me. And he's going out there to title. And I'm stuck on the ground. Oh, yeah, Jericho? I can climb. Oh. Okay. Okay. He's beating me to every punch. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Not good. Okay. This isn't good. Okay. I actually ended up being the one that did better out of that outcome. I don't know how, but whatever. This is a good match. I'm actually being challenged here, and it feels good. Oh, he's kicking me in the gut. Boom. Get out. Oh, he's knocked out. How do I just pick the ladder up without smashing it to the ground? I didn't have the five star, else I would have done it. That was stupid. Didn't even do anything. Okay. That's this is how I grab it. Oh sweet! Oh sweet! Get off of me, Jericho! Oh you goober! Oh you, f you ass clown! Why would you do that? Get out of town with that. I mean, we have a five star, but... What's... What's kind of the point of a five star frog splash right now? The move's used to pin people. Oh, we're too far back! Damn it! No, get down! I don't want to be up here! Get out of town! What do you think you're doing, Jericho? Oh, he's leaving the ring. What a coincidence. He's probably gonna grab a stick ch freaking chair, really? Got to get five star on a ladder, son. Boom! On the ladder! Oh, don't pin him! 
Why would you pin him? It's a, it's a, uh, a pin. Oh shoot. Oh wait, it's not a pin. Why was I scared? All right. Come on, Jericho, stay down. Fuck. Chris Jericho just won't stay down. Uh oh, he has his finisher. Ah, I thought it was gonna be a perfect setup for a cross. <laughs> Body. Okay, not good. good. He's kicking me. I tossed him over the ropes. Oh, he's taunting like an idiot. What a dork. No one wants to be a dork. And we won. <laughs> what a dork. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> Nobody wants to be a dork. What a dork. Jericho's a dork. He taunted. He taunted while we were getting the title. Oh, what a fantastic end to the Backlash pay-per-view. What a dork. But yeah, as I did say there, this is actually the end. I just won on that whole side. I just realized that this is the end of part five or episode five, whatever you want to call it, of SmackDown Shut Your Mouth. I do hope you have enjoyed it because I sure to hell did. It was actually fun. I'm, I'm, I'm giggling right now because of that. But if you have enjoyed it, please do leave me a like and subscribe. It really shows your support for my channel that you actually like the videos that I put up and stuff like that. And also, um... Yeah, spread the word, I guess, or something like that. Let's make this channel big, nerds and geeks. I, I really, I feel like this is our year. This is the year for the nerds and geeks. So, uh, as always, though, I am OMG WTF, LOL, FWBRB, and I will see you guys in episode six. So until then, nerds and geeks, you guys have yourselves a great day.